it's good to know where you come from, to know where you're going, and really like what did DC look like in terms of craft beer back, you know, in another era. My name is Mari Rodella, and I am the I'm an owner and the chief community and culture officer at DC Brow Brewing Company. Um, I'm also the president and founder of um, the DC Brewers Guild. DC is home and it's been home for the majority of my life. I love this city, I love this area. The community has changed, but it's evolving. More of a sense of, of homegrown and local and supporting local. It's a lot of like-minded people who are entrepreneurs, but also um, leaders of nonprofits that are working together to really make sure that the Amazon of the world aren't coming to take over and push us out and close our businesses. Like there's a real push for people to to shop at the local bookstore right up the street or or to, you know, buy your local craft beer. Um, and supporting things like the Hyrick House that is like, you know, historically important and making sure that, you know, the history of the city is also kept. I think when we opened DC Brow, there was no other production facility in DC. We you know it was the first since Hyrick closed back in the 50s and that was a big deal. And then as soon as we opened, the next year there was another brewery and then there was another and then there were a few. And today we have between the craft um, brew pubs and production facilities, we have like 13 different breweries now, which is really exciting. It's about um, promoting local independent businesses to the community. Um, and I think Eric House has been a big part of that. Not only is it the, the history, but it's also the future of our community in the city. And we are very happy to embrace the Hyrick House as part of our lineage. Not a lot of, of city have a place like this. The history was lost and we, we actually have Hyrick. The house has really supported the breweries and making sure that, you know, people who are interested in this community are also aware that, hey, you know, there's there's still modern craft beer and if you if you're interested in love Hyrick, that maybe you know continue supporting what he stood for, which was like independent craft beer in DC. So the Hyrick House has actually played a very big role in the founding of the DC Brewers Guild. As we started forming the guild, we actually like wrote our bylaws in this building. We passed like our first bylaws. Um, we our first votes for um, the board and for. Um, our executive committee were all here. The fact that we have this has allowed us to have a partnership with Hyrick to be able to, to point to this is where we come from. And I think that as, as a guild, we've really kept that in mind and want to be sure that we're supporting the Hyrick Museum. Um, and the Hyrick Museum has always been very supportive of the guild as well. But also all the breweries. I mean, every single brewery in the area has done something in partnership with House. It's all about the evolution, about new, and about everybody coming together to support the house, but also the house has really supported the breweries. And